Hi there. Uh, my name is Aaron Shaw. I run a company called WhiteSpark, and uh, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, the best places you can get citations, and I've got a bunch of local SEO tips for you. So uh, if you don't know what a citation is, a citation is a mention of your name, address, phone number, somewhere out on the web. Um, typically it's on yellowpages.com, yelp.com. There's other places to get citations. I only have 10 minutes, so you can refer to that link, learn more. Um, so where do you get the best ones? Where do you get the ones that are going to help your local SEO more than uh, any others? Um, it was this time last year, I was in MozCon, uh, listening to David Mim talk about local SEO, and he mentioned our tool, the Local Citation Finder, which was great. Um, and he noted that it doesn't look at the organic results to find strong industry portals. So I spent some time thinking about what that meant, and we had a few emails back and forth, and we came up with uh, a methodology to use the organic search rankings to identify top quality citation sources. So if you do a search like Lawyer Seattle, you'll see uh, common industry portals coming up like Find Law, uh, LawyersInfo.com, Superpages. These are just you know, directory type sites that are listed amongst the business results. So you run uh, Seattle Attorneys, you see the same sites appearing, Seattle Criminal Lawyers. These sites are appearing often in those search phrases. So if you're a lawyer in Seattle, Find Law is the site that you want to be on. Um, so we searched over 648 different keywords across 70 different business categories. Um, we searched the keywords with the, the city name uh, after the keyword, so Lawyer Seattle, and the city name before the keyword, so Seattle Lawyers. And we did this across 93 different small, medium, and large cities in the U.S. We made sure that we tried to hit all the major centers. So uh, that resulted in 120,000 different uh, search results that we looked at, and we parsed all that data, put it into our database, and once we had it in there, we were able to do things like show me the best citations in, uh, in Seattle. So give me, all the, give me all the citation sources for searches in Seattle and score them based on how often that site occurred combined with uh, where it was ranking. So we did that on a category level as well. So you could say, go to our database and say, give me all the citation sources that appeared for uh, legal terms and <clears throat> score them based on how often they occur combined with how often, or what their rankings were. So David published this on uh, getlisted.org. Uh, you can go to, um, go to that URL there. Don't uh, try to write that down. You'll be able to get the slides after. And so you can see the top 10 in all these different uh, cities. So the, the 93 different cities that we studied. And you can also see the top 10 in categories. So, and there's some interesting data that will stand out, like for example, in the plumbing category, e-local plumbers is standing out as a great citation source. Um, and you also see like major brands that are dominating across the U.S. Rotor Rooter is uh, killing it. So uh, if you have a local citation finder account, you can see the top 30. So we get more data there. So you can search if you do a search for any city or category where we have the data, you'll see a little box like that, and you can see the top 30. But uh, MozCon's all about takeaways. We actually have data for the top 50. So uh, today I'm giving everyone the top 50 for all of those, all those categories and cities. So this is just, thanks. This is just for MozCon people, so please don't tweet or share the link. And uh, that's the URL, you don't have to write it down. I'll, I'll ask the AV guys to put this up during the Q&A so that everyone can get that URL. And please remember there's a password for uh, actually downloading the citation data. It's MozCon56, MozCon56. So that, you will have to remember that, MozCon 5.6. I'll mention it again at the end of the presentation. So uh, next thing, I have a bunch of local SEO tips for you. My first tip is hyperlocal citation building. So a hyperlocal citation is a citation that's on a, a site that's specifically about one city or specifically about one particular industry or niche. Um, we did some of this work for one of our clients, and we saw their rankings go through the roof, their local rankings, so the PAC rankings. They weren't on the map for a lot of these terms. They had strong organic SEO when they came to us, and they wanted to hire us for local. So we did some of this hyper-local citation building. We saw their rankings go from like 100 to 27 to number one for hundreds of terms over a three-month period after building a bunch of these hyper-local citations. So where do you find uh, sites like this? Uh, there's a few ways. 
You can seriously just search Google. Seattle Business Directory, you're gonna find a bunch of sites that are uh, Seattle-specific directories. Um, you can use the Link Prospector. This is a tool that we built with Garrett French. Uh, it has a, a link prospecting type called directories. You just put in Seattle, attorneys, you're gonna get a big list back. Uh, the list that you get back will be all sorted by our link target score, which is similar to the ranking algorithm we use to score the, um, the citations in the citation study we did with David Mim. You can also use the uh, local citation finder. This is actually how we did it with that one client. So you just create a new project, uh, run a bunch of searches in that project, and then you go under view citation sources, and you'll get all the data on one page. So all the citations that we had for those dozens of keywords we ran will all appear on one uh, page, and they can use control F in your browser to look for keywords that might match some of the domain. So York, this is a HVAC client in New York, so York, HVAC, air, conditioning. If you look for any domains that match that, then those are gonna be sites that are specifically about that topic. So because the local citation finder, it's a competitive analysis tool, what it does is it collects citations from the top ranked businesses. So when you do that across 30 different keywords, 40 different keywords, put them all on one page and you pull these sites out, I kind of feel like that's why we had these big ranking boosts, because people that were already dominating, we're finding these hyper relevant sites specifically uh, to get listed on, and I think that's why it had a big impact. So now I have a bunch of local SEO tips, I don't know if I'll get through them all, I only have 10 minutes, and uh, I'll go through them. So David Mim, uh, he's got a great tip. He says that most small businesses can uh, rank with uh, just two or three s super high quality links. So that would be uh, links from an EDU site, org site, and you can find them with sponsorship searches like site colon dot edu, uh, Portland, Oregon sponsors. Mike Blumenthal's tip is that uh, the penny savers, which are these like classified coupon advertising magazines in New York State, they always need uh, content to maintain their editorial tax status. So get your clients to write for them and uh, make sure you get a citation and link in those. They're always looking for content. You can probably find those in every community. Uh, Mike Ramsey, his tip is to find authority accounts in Google Plus specifically in your city. So uh, he provides a number of ways to search for those accounts you can find in the notes if you download my slides. Um, then you can incentivize those people to come in and review your business. Reviews from authority people will give you, will give you a better ranking boost than just reviews from the average Joe. Uh, Adam Steele, he talks about uh, Google Plus local pages are indexed in a way that the Google Place pages uh, never were. So that means that everything is indexed, the title, the description, the reviews, getting keywords in there, thinking about on-page optimization on your Google Plus local page in a way that you didn't really need to worry about it in the same sense on your Google Places page. And not only that, you can actually build links to your Google Plus local page to improve rankings. Um, Dave Minchala, smart local SEO guy right over there, uh, he, he surprised me with this tip. I didn't realize you can add the near equal parameter in your uh, Google search term to mimic what happens when you set the location in the sidebar. So that allows you to check rankings without the, the geolocation term. So you could say, you can set the location to Buffalo and then just check the, term, check the term plumbers. So you can see your rankings for those terms without having to add the word Buffalo. Uh, Matthew Hunt, uh, one sneaky way to get links from other local businesses is instead of just link begging, say, hey, can you link to my business? You can send them a digital coupon. So we'll give your customers 10% off at our business if you just put this up on your website. It's a great way to get a link from local businesses. Uh, Andrew Shotland says that the the magic number to, for reviews to improve your rankings is five, so make sure you get at least five. Once you get past that five, you see that ranking boost. Uh, Mary Bowling says that you if you're in local, you should learn how to use MapMaker. It's the second most trusted source of uh, local information after uh, business owner edit, so she provides a couple of references there. Uh, Scott Dodge, he used MapMaker, um, what, what was happening in his case is he had, one of his clients was being outranked by a major brand, and the brand was actually miscategorized. Miscategorized, shouldn't have been in his category. So he just went into MapMaker, edited that major brand's listings, took that category out, it got approved because it was just correcting the data, and then the next day, his client was back on top and that brand was out of the category. Um, Nyagoslav Zekov, he says that you should encourage reviews and social mentions of your listings on third-party sites. 
That'll help get them pulled into Google Plus Local, helping your rankings quicker, and there's, they'll be associated with more data, which will help your rankings. And our last tip is uh, Phil Rosick. He says that Google Plus, he thinks that Google Plus is considering click-through rate, so you should try to increase your click-through rate. You can do that by um, making sure you get at least 10 Google reviews. When you get those 10 reviews, that way you get the Zagat rating on your listing. That'll help your click-through rate. And also, make sure you have a nice catchy title tag. So uh, that's, that's everything. I think I was on time. Uh, just one thing, uh, could you put it back to the Oprah slide, just so people have that URL? Great, thank you. Any questions? The one back there too? No, you just... <laughs> Hi, Darren, thank you. Hey. So, n not of use to a lot of people in the room, but it's great that you did it for the U.S. I'm wondering if you do those geos, uh, those uh, top citations for geos and so on for Canada. Is that something coming up? I'm Canadian. It's, yeah. it's on my list. Okay, going to get right. it done. Thanks. Yeah. We actually have the data to have them publish it. Okay, super. Hey. Uh, Darren, great presentation and used thank your tool you. for a long time and love it. So. Thank you. Uh, one of the questions I had is it sounds like it's always been policy for Google to use the business name, but it sounds like you're saying to use more of a descriptive title for the Google Plus local page now. And is that what you were saying? Because it. Uh, no, it was, yeah, I'm glad you asked that question. It's important to clarify. Use your business name. Don't mess with that. You don't want to put keywords in your, in your title. That tip from Adam, I should have maybe thought of that and, and, not, and maybe pulled that part out. But you don't want to mess with your, your business title. It should always be your actual doing business as name. Whatever it would show up in the yellow pages, whenever you tell people what your company is, should be that. Don't try to stuff that with keywords or location uh, keywords. It'll hurt your rankings more than it'll help. Thanks. So my question is, if a citation source um, only has the business name, phone number, and address, but doesn't have a link, does it still count as a citation? Yes. It does. Still counts, still provides value to your local SEO. The more complete you can get your citations, in any case, the, the better. If you think about what does Google know about your business, it's trying to rank the businesses in local. The more information you provide, the better it's going to be. So a link is going to help a lot because then it can associate it with your website, which has all that information. Uh, fill out your categories, fill out the description. The more complete your citations are, the better. You can actually drastically improve your rankings in local just by going through all your existing citations and completing them, getting them all to like 100%. That can be massive for your local rankings. Dave. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. Um, I was wondering if, in the course of the research that you were doing, um, <clears throat> excuse me, for uh, the studies and citations that you did with Dave Mim, if um, you encountered or were able to see who are the aggregators who's uh, scraping from who and, and who are, what are the, the major data providers that m lead to the most citation syndication and proliferation? Yeah, well, maybe. I haven't looked at, I haven't looked at that question in the data. Uh, it might be there. I encourage you to download it and take a look. That'd be awesome. You could write a post about it. But I, I didn't look at that specifically. I don't, I don't know if you could see it, because it's basically just Google SERP data, right? So how do you see who's feeding who in that data? I don't know. Good question. I'd love to take a closer look at that. You mentioned a tip about uh, building backlinks to a Google Plus local page. That's the top one. Remember so, that one. So uh, where is it going to benefit the business in the organic results because that Google Plus local page is showing up in the organic results, or is it going to help the, the local result with the pin, or both? Uh, given Google's Plus's push, probably both. Um, I'm really only talking about places ranking. So when you see the local pack come up, 
the local rankings is really what I'm talking about, and certainly that's what I'm talking about. Most results are blended these days. It's very rare to see a pure result, which is only local factors. So blended results will incorporate all the organic stuff plus the local stuff and then improve your ranking. So I would say both, for sure. Okay. Um, uh, Dana DiTomaso, he, she's uh, here today. She told me that just by editing one of her client's uh, headers where they had the social icon, so they had Facebook, Twitter, whatever, adding the G plus there, she noticed a rank, uh, ranking increase just by that. It's like a site-wide, including in the social icons. Everyone should just do that if you care about local rankings. And one one easy way to get the link. One other quick question. What do you use to track your local rankings? We what, have our own tool. Rank? I appreciate you asking that because we'll be launching it soon. When? I, I've been saying two weeks for months, so two weeks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sounds good. laughs> All right. Thank you. Very Thank much. you very much. Appreciate it.